The pandemic has revealed the benefits of telemedicine, but advocates are concerned that some New Hampshire residents may not be able to access it long term. New Hampshire law requires that insurance companies pay the same rates for telehealth services as for in-person care, but that doesn't apply to people who work for companies that offer self-insured health plans. Richard Kantz is with Goodwill Northern New England, which provides self-insured health plans, but opts to reimburse telehealth services at the same rates. He says it also increases access for people who have difficulties getting to their doctors, especially in rural areas. To assume that everybody has access to simply hop in a car or access public transportation to attend an in-person, face-to-face appointment just isn't realistic. It wasn't realistic before the pandemic and certainly isn't realistic now. He adds people also may not have time to take off work. Some states, like neighboring Maine and Vermont, do not have the same statutes requiring reimbursement parity. But advocates say there's still room to grow in New Hampshire and at the federal level. Lynn Stanley, with the National Association of Social Workers, New Hampshire chapter, explains when a company offers self-insured health plans, the employer sets the rules. She worries that when companies don't make the same decision Goodwill did, care providers, including for mental health services, may not be able to offer telehealth visits. We're encouraging businesses, organizations, and agencies that have self-insured plans to look at their plans and make sure that telehealth is reimbursed at the same rate as the in-person visit. She says many people have come to rely on telehealth during the pandemic and would benefit from it being a permanent option. It's been especially helpful for people facing a lack of childcare, transportation, or other limiting factors. This is Lily Bolke for New Hampshire News Connection at publicnewsservice.org.